Hello everybody! So today in my audition diary series I will be talking about my Lippa audition which took place on the 30th of January and it was for the BA Honours degree course in acting. So it's my second acting audition that I've ever had. From first impressions um, the place was only a it only appealed to me because in the audition, which I'll talk about this more in detail later on, but in the audition, <clears throat> you have to create a devised monologue and it changes with each year on what you have to do it on. But it has to always be two minutes, I think, um, maximum. And this year it was to create it and base it off a recent news story. So that appealed to me because I thought if they're looking for that in an audition then they want to see how creative you can be which is exactly the sort of person that I want to develop in drama school, my creative side. So I thought well if I if I audition here then maybe I'll have a slightly, you know, I'll, I'll like the audition more, I'll have a slightly better audition experience. So to apply to Lipper, you have to apply through UCAS, but you also have to submit a another application and you can usually find the application on their website around November time. I found it in December because that's when I was applying to all my drama schools, but um, you could, it, I think it does appear around November time. And it's basically just a replication of your UCAS application, apart from the fact that they ask you, at least on my application, because it might change each year as well, it, uh, it asks me about social, economic and political factors to consider when I think living in Liverpool or becoming an actor from Lippo or something along those lines. And they were also like, what skills do you think need improving? What are your weaker skills? They also asked me to provide a personal statement, but it was shorter than the UCAS one, so I had to proper trim it down uh, a bit quite a bit um but it's essentially the same it, it should take you like an hour two hours to complete so it's best not to leave it last minute you have to submit both those applications before you get your audition date otherwise they won't give you one so you have to complete both which means if you've like got your Lippa individual application sorted but then you haven't sent off your UCAS because you're deciding what other drama schools to pick to audition for or whatever you still won't get your date and that's really bad it's best to just be aware of that that you have to do two applications for it but it wasn't too bad so that's the application process um you get an email uh, check just double checking your date and your time once you've sent off both those applications I had to change my date but luckily they're fine with it if you ask to change your date because mine was going to clash with my Bournemouth audition it was meant to be on the 27th and I wouldn't be able to go I, w I thought I wouldn't be able to go so I changed it and then I realized I actually could because I was leaving for Bournemouth in the morning <laughs> They're really um, easy going and they basically send you a list of all the dates that they have places on left and they're like pick from these. So I picked the 30th because it wasn't too cl it wasn't too far from my original date which was good. So now I'm going to talk about the what the audition includes. So you could have heard me mention earlier in this video about advised monologue. So you have to learn one of them you also have to do a shakespeare and a contemporary Third, you also get to do a workshop and, and then if they want to see more of you basically it doesn't mean anything other than they want to see more of you um they'll invite you to the afternoon recall recall an afternoon session where they do some further workshops and some further games but it is worth noting that not all applicants who don't get invited to this afternoon recall get an actual recall on a later date. And also people who do get invited to the afternoon session sometimes don't get recalled. So it doesn't really mean anything other than they want to just see how you work in more detail. So now on to my personal experience of the audition. So I got there. 
um it was pretty hard to find for me actually because i came from liverpool lime street because that was the nearest station but it's a good like 15 20 minute walk from that station i had to end up whipping out google maps to find where i was going it was really and i also had to ask a couple of people on the way because it was just really hard to find but once you find it it's in a really nice quiet location but you still feel like you're part of the city so i think that's a really good thing it's a massive building but it's like a mixture of classical and modern architecture so it's it's all classical structure and classical from the outside but inside there's loads of like modern renovations it's lovely i i love the place as it was so i get into the building and i see my name to the reception guy he gave me a sticker and i think mine was 12b or 11b and basically what they do is that they split us 28 people up into two groups of 14 and then they're the groups are a and b and then they number as 1 to 14 so you have a1 all the way to a14 and b1 all the way to b14 and what they do is that they they group people that way so in the solos that i'll talk about later you'll pair up a1 and b1 and two different sets of panels will look at those at the same time it, and it goes on until a14 and b14 so we got into this tiny like rehearsal room and we were told to put our stuff down put our bags down and then some of us were invited into this room with this guy who i presume was on the panel for somebody once or twice um and he did a little workshop with us it was really quick it was like maybe half an hour and he basically told us to like lie on our backs and just imagine this golden ball of light or whatever i'm pretty familiar with that wall monk because we do that in college and I'd, it wasn't exactly like a golden ball of light it was something else but you get the gist of it it's like it's making you focus and concentrate and then he got us to walk around the room he made us follow like a clapping rhythm so he'd clap it in it's like a 4-4 four, four rhythm and then he'd expect us to clap it back i had no problem um doing that i was fine with that most other people were which was good we got it over quickly and then we were asked to go in a circle and repeat it but instead of following him we'd create our own we'd create our own rhythm so that was pretty simple really and then we got paired into pairs while we were asked to find our own pair and we were asked to do this game that i've done in college before where you you improvise and you like mime it you don't use uh you can use words i don't i think we did our pair did um but you have to improvise it you basically have to sort of go like this like pick something up pick something invisible up and then the other person has to react and say what it is without you knowing so you'll like pick something really heavy up and they'll be like oh my gosh i can't believe you bought me an elephant and then you make it up off that and it's a really good game actually i really like doing it and so we did that and then he um did that for about five minutes and then he asked a couple of the pairs to show them and they had to do it a couple of times but our pair just wasn't wasn't picked um and then that was the end of the workshop it was quite short then we went back into the room and then everybody else did their warm-up workshop and after that the tour begun so while everybody else was doing their warm-up workshop we were asked to go on a tour and so we followed these first years around as he showed us around everywhere and the place is so lovely it's so professional and i especially like the library because it looked really big and it had like loads of windows just facing the city and i thought that was just a really nice place to put a library and it had like plug sockets embedded into the middle of the tables and like people were just silently working there and there were like computers already there but you could bring your laptops in and just sit down and have coffee it was great i loved the atmosphere there and we were just took 
took around all the rehearsal studios but because it was a working week we weren't allowed inside some of them but we got to see most of the building and then we went back and then the solos begun and the solos basically it happened so that a1 and b1 went together and that continued all the way until a7 and b7 because we were split further into two so there were a to a1 to 7 and b1 to 7 and then a8 to 14 and b8 to 14 and the a8 to 14 and b8 to 14 group had to wait for about an hour and a half so that all the one to sevens could get their monologues over with and then we had a break i know they probably had a lot less panel than they would have liked because it was a working day um but i swear there would have been like a more efficient way of doing it we just got so tired and our adrenaline just totally disappeared and um I was stressing out because the night before on my train back from Bournemouth I realised that my devised monologue was actually really bad so I decided to change it last minute and I was busy trying to learn that for the past 24 hours so that was making me even more stressed but I guess being last helped in a in a way because I had more time to learn it. So then my time finally came after probably about two hours of waiting. I definitely wasn't feeling it at all. I was tired. Uh, I was stiff again. Like the workshop would have helped, but it was so long ago by then that it just didn't. I went in and it was all very formal. Like the guys barely said anything. Uh, I went in and said what monologues I was doing and then he just said okay what ones do you want to start with and I was glad because I had heard that some of the panellists had said okay you're starting with this monologue and then some others had said okay what monologue do you want to start with kind of similar to the Glasgow audition this guy was like okay what one do you want to start with and I was like I just want to get my I didn't say this to him but I was just like I want to get my device out of the way so I did that and I put it out of the way and it went really well I, I didn't forget anything which was good and then I did my Shakespeare and I thought went okay and then I did my contemporary and I just wasn't feeling my contemporary it just didn't go very well at all keep in mind these were two completely different monologues to ones I've done in the past so they weren't my Queen Margaret and my overshadowed monologues they were two different monologues so I'd never really done them for an audition before so that was the first audition that I'd done those monologues in so I didn't really know how to feel about them but I just didn't feel I didn't I didn't connect as much as I did with my other monologues that I've used in the past but I, I sort of came out of the audition feeling a bit like meh because I was sort of like I didn't do my best in that audition I made the wrong decisions but in all the the day was just a bit long and unproductive I didn't feel like I was getting my 45 quid worth out of it it was a really good audition still because the the mon the actual solos was quite a long time it was about 15 minutes in the in the room with the panelists which was quite a long time but it just didn't feel right paying 45 quid for about 45 minutes so that was the lipper audition don't let me Put you off with this video because by all means Lipra is a great place in Liverpool to study and loads of people love it my friend went to Lipra to audition on a different day and got a recall for it I just personally didn't like Lipra but personally that wasn't for me um, and it's just a thing that you have to figure out because you won't know every place that you audition at until you've actually gone and auditioned and the place was nice but the teachers I don't think I just mixed well with the teachers and the, and the people there I just didn't get a good vibe off them but that's just me so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it helped in some way if uh, you're still unsure just leave a comment down below asking any further questions about the audition um, in case you haven't figured it out by now I got rejected from Lipper um, but it's okay but yeah that is my lipper audition 
I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.